Okay, so this is a tutorial to have a look at the new online reports from Target Tracker. Um, you would already know by now uh, and have seen this at the CPD, uh, but this will just go through the very basic uh, areas of the new reports to give us an idea of the different sections. So I'm going to log in as a Year 3 teacher. In the second tutorial of this series we'll look at the entry boxes but this will just be a very broad overview of the uh, new elements. So I'm going to select uh, 3F, you can go ahead and select your own class. And then I'm going to go to NC Reports, National Curriculum Reports. Go along to parent, and then I'm just going to select the pupil that I want to work on from the drop down menu. So the first one I'll just select is Carla. So this is the the report itself. It's going to start off with Arabic here at the top. Uh, if you are studying Arabic as a first language, this will be uh, written in Arabic by the Arabic team. And if it's, if it's Arabic as a second language, then it will be written uh, in English. There's then uh, sections for the core subjects, uh, classroom based core subjects for English, for maths, and for science. And then there are four smaller boxes which actually change once we start typing in them. The comments box becomes uh, quite a lot bigger. Uh, for modern foreign languages, which is uh, French, uh, for music, for PE, and for religious education, which will be Islamic education. Um, it then goes on to have a look at the summer learning opportunities. And for this one, what we're going to do is have uh, three summer learning opportunities for English, two for maths, and two for science. Uh, for the English ones, again, we'll go through this in a later tutorial, but we're going to have a reading, a writing, and a speaking and listening. For maths, we'll have a mental maths and an applied maths, uh, and for science, um, two of, of any nature, perhaps a research-based one, and a physical sciences one, or something similar. You don't need to worry about the box at the bottom, because that part's not going to be included, although unfortunately we can't remove it from the format. So that's what it looks like when it's empty. When you go into the different sections, uh, you will be able to, you'll notice that the font size is all completely locked, so that's set. Nobody can change that. Uh, the layout is all set, as are the headings, Tim and Progress, etc. It's only when you get to core subjects that you can start to make any sort of amendments. Don't use these boxes because this is the effort grade. Even if you enter the effort grade, it won't show up because on the formatting, we've deselected include effort grade so you've got no need to use these boxes here but to get to the English box you click on edit and then you can of course start that thing in here okay so that's a broad overview of the format in the next tutorial we'll have a look at the content in terms of the different boxes